Hello everybody and welcome back to some Dead Cells. I do apologise for the delay in this episode. I'm trying to put out one to two of these a week and I've been a little bit behind on that recently just to do some personal things that have come up. But either way, we are back and we are going to jump right in, carrying on with Boss Cell 1 and see what we can do. We're starting off with the Hayabusa Boots. I've never seen these before. Uh, also the Blurgun. We had a real good time with the Blurgun. Was it last episode I ever said before? We also got the Turpaz Amulet. Nice. Right, let's have a look at these. Um, the last hit damages all enemies around you and pushes them back. Extra damage if they hit a wall. And then the blur dart. Okay, so... Yeah, I'm not... I was just about to say, I'm not gonna... I'm not really sure how strong this thing is, but... Honestly, it's... It's killing reasonably quickly, and... Uh, I guess if we can manage to, like, combo it reasonably well, then it's gonna be pretty good. One thing we need to do is, uh, make sure we're using the blur dart... Um, whenever we can, just remember that it crits if we hit them in the back. That is a very important piece of the blur dart. It makes it very, very good. Of course, we are going to try and go for our streak, uh, as we tend to do. Uh, there is a chest down here by the looks of things. There you go. Yeah, we are going to try and get our streak going, try and get the 30 kills. Ooh, we also get a fire grenade, which is pretty nice. Okay, we also got a wave of denial as well. Okay, we are... Oh, God! Oh, God! Oh, God! <laughs> well, then. I'll uh, get rid of that right away. I did not even... Honestly, my brain completely forgot that the invisible dudes existed. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, God. I am taking some damage. I kind of thought the firebomb did a bit of initial damage, but now I'm, I'm starting to think it, it, it really doesn't. I'm starting to think it definitely does not. Oh my god. Okay, so uh, apparently having any more than like 24 hours off this game just completely disintegrates my brain. An ability to, uh... <laughs> ability to process how to play this game because, yeah, I've, uh... I've completely forgotten, apparently. I am doing poorly. I mean, we're not doing terribly, but I really should be getting a guaranteed guaranteed 30 kills on the first area. It really shouldn't be that hard for me. Anyways, let's just take our, our, our pre-two minute timer on this area. I'm looking to play a little bit speedy this time around. Um, I think, it was it last episode where we, where we managed to explore a few new biomes? I think it was, wasn't it? And uh, yeah, I kind of want to do that again. I kind of want to just see if we can make it to some new areas, try out some new things. Um, do -do 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 -do. I actually prefer the swarm here. I think the fire bombs isn't really doing it for us. One thing we, we do need right now, which is quite clear to anyone that's taking a look, uh, we are very purple orientated and it'd be kind of nice to um, align our other main weapon with that. Let's have a little look, see what we've got going on here. So, if I remember correctly, one of the ones that we want to be going with pretty much all the time is Disengagement. But I think, yeah, No Mercy is the one that I really, really like. I think No Mercy has a lot of value early game, especially if you're playing with um, Poison, which right now we've got the Blow Dart gun. So I feel like Poison's, wouldn't say it's the most main part of our kit, but it's a reasonably big part of our kit. I have to admit, I'm not really sure the best way to use Wave of Denial. Um, I think Wave of Denial is more for just pushing enemies into walls. Yeah, it kind of is, really. So, we don't like that look there. So, we don't really need to be worrying about it too much. I mean, honestly, with this execution and the Blood Art gun, I think we're actually in for a pretty... A pretty good time, to be honest. Like, we can sometimes one-shot, as we just did there. But even if we don't, the poison's gonna get there. And as you can see, we're getting executions on nearly every single shot. So I think maybe... I know that we've used it recently, so I'd, I'd, I tend to not like to pile too heavily onto one weapon type, if I can help it. But I think maybe at least early game here, trying to... Uh, let's get some biters out here. I think maybe early game trying to stick to the poison dart gun with execution is going to be pretty good. Just because, like, the ammo is never really too big of a problem for it. The damage isn't really too big of a problem for it. we got the execution just to really tip the scales in our favor. I think it's just an overall really fun playstyle. Like, three of those. I get that we that we do have limited ammo, so we're not always going to be able to fire that many, but 
three of those did a bloody good job. It's a bit of a shame here that we're not going to get, um... Yeah, let's pop one of those. I love doing that. Boom. Yeah, it's a bit of a shame that we're not going to get any purple scrolls. Or at least we didn't that time around. We'll see if we end up getting them later on. Oh, bloody hell. Tell you what. That is one of the reasons we're using the blow dart as well. We we can we can kind of fire from a range here, and I like that. Because at the minute, uh, I could have had a pretty good streak going there, and I, I basically let it all fade away for very dumb reasons there. It's these dudes. They hit me way too often. It's because the one of those enemies that you like... You kind of see and you, you you disassociate it as a threat because it so rarely hits you that you basically just play it in your head like it's not an issue at all. Oh, I've died. I was not expecting that. Um, My god. My god. That's, uh, that's, that was some unexpected stuff there. Right, anyways, forget basically everything I just said, because we're changing our build. <laughs> Hopefully the first floor can go a little better this time. This time we're going to get the Frantic Sword, um, we can get to low health to deal crits, um, and this Nether Steel, okay. We've also got the Moonstone Amulet for the extra jump. I think the extra jump's pretty good. Oh, hello. Um, oh, okay, I see, I see. It's just a time, oh god, this guy's, uh... Okay, actually, that's that's a pretty decent pretty decent bit of uh, extra time there. So, let's have a look. Adds damage with each attack. You take 30% extra damage during this time. Okay, I think we can get behind that. You, I was just about to say, you watch me immediately get hit now. Um, oh, hello. Did I actually get hit there? Or did, that, did I dream that? Okay, I do wonder how, how effective... This weapon is this this bow and arrow without critting. Eh, three arrows for a basic enemy isn't that effective, really. But then again, it's not all that hard to trip with this thing, really. Okay, and this time we get a scroll, whatever we want. We have two things in the purple right now, so I reckon we, we lean towards purple, just to start off with. I do like the Bombardier's Cannon. That definitely has earned my respect over the course of a few runs. Oh god. The shield guys are really awkward because sometimes you can roll through them and sometimes you can't. And I need to figure out when that is. Right, I don't know what happened there, but I'm very happy about it. I think that was just our empowerment ending, maybe. Ooh, what the hell's this? I don't know what this is, but I want it. Um, hitting with the second attack. Ooh, have we had this before? I don't recognize this. This is one of the ones from the um Oh, that's so cool! This is one of the weapons from the uh, Everybody's Together update. The one that added, like, all the interactions with like, other games, right? I don't know what game this is an interaction with, I'll be honest. I'm not entirely sure, but this seems like a really, really intriguing weapon. That's what I like about this game, especially with, like, sort of what we've done with it. We've power boosted our way through the early game of, of all, doing all the unlocks. Um... I, I really like this because you get so much variety. Now, the rapier, we have seen success in before, actually. God damn it. These guys are going to wreck me every time. There's nothing I can much do about that. Oh, God. I need to be more careful. I'm getting hit by some really dumb stuff here. Let's take purple again. Just watch out for the invisible Jamooks. There's one. The spinning wheel attack does crit too, which is intriguing. I see you there, invisible boy. Yeah, I got you this time. And you. Ooh, the spin attack. With a speed upgrade, that spin attack's pretty fantastic. Hey, you see that? We got the stiletto here, though. As much as I like the burn, I did pay for it. I'm going to take the stiletto. Just because, for one, it's purple. But for two, I reckon building into uh, a stiletto is actually not particularly hard. Bleed and poison are, like, pretty common attributes that, you sh that show up pretty often. Although, <laughs> the claw. We're getting a lot of weapons here that I quite like. Obviously, if we take this, we are locked in. But look at that. It's just epic. Okay, 
I'm switching weapons like a house on fire right now. But I feel like I gotta go for this. I feel like I've got to try these sides out. They're so cool. Of course, unfortunately, we missed both of our doors here. Wasn't my intention, but that's how it worked out. Yeah, we've almost got all of our outfits. Still got many more to unlock, but... Right, so this is a bit different. This is a little different. Now... I'm gonna go with Predator. And I, I don't know how well regarded Predator is, but my my a thought is upon killing an enemy, we go invisible, right? So because the attack takes so long with this weapon, my thinking is if we can kill an enemy, go invisible, it gives us extra time. It gives us extra time to set up for the next attack, which... Honestly, it's seemingly working quite well right now. Do you know what? Yeah, I think it's I think it's actually working quite well. These bloody things are crazy. Look at that, the bat just like yeeted out of there. He just nerfed out. Uh, I knew that was gonna get me, but I love these things. Wow. I don't know how, um, I, like, I'll be honest, I really just don't in general know, like, the meta of this game. I don't know what's strong, what's weak, what's good, what's not. I'm just kind of playing it by ear. A few people have been giving me some suggestions here and there, but I'm really just learning as I go and trying new things out. So, one of the things, I know that we're already on boss cell, and boss cell probably isn't very conducive to a person that's still learning the game. Um, I think most people probably get quite a bit more hours in the game before they end up on boss cell. I just got lucky. Um, I mean, I had played the game uh, before as well, like a year ago, so that definitely helped. Um, but yeah, I think because of that, I'm kind of behind the curve on, like, meta and things. Especially considering there's been so many new weapon additions and changes to lots of new enemies biomes. I don't know what's the best. I don't know what I should and shouldn't be taking here, really. Um, I mean, seemingly things are going reasonably well. Invisible after five seconds without attack. Ooh, that's very good. Um. Hmm. It's a terrible idea. We know it is. We know it to be a horrible, horrible idea. But at the same time... If I can make it work. Where the hell did this guy go? Okay, here he is. This weapon is really what makes this scary. Because this weapon is slow. We are pretty easy to hit from a distance. We don't we don't have much close the gap potential, really. I don't know. We'll try this out. Really, really, really don't like that. Okay. I mean, we're going to die in one hit anyway, so let's use this. Okay. Alright, these two Jamokes can die in a second as well. Look at that! One more kill left. Only a single kill remains. Okay, we're invisible now as well. Okay, being th this invisibility thing makes this a lot easier. There was another enemy, right? I'm not going crazy. Okay, there is another enemy. Yeah, okay. Curse lifted. Nice. I think one of the things that I got suggested, and it's definitely something I'm going to take to heart, is basically always, always take curse chests. Because, you like... Yes, you might lose a you might lose a run that you really like or a run that you think is going to win, but at the end of the day, if you can't get used to not getting hit, you're not going to make it very far, especially once you get into the later boss cells. Like I think three and above is where shit really hits the fan, um, especially like four and five. I've heard they are uh, ooh, nice blueprint. They are like crazy difficult. So. Yeah, basically my, my thinking, or at least what I was told, is you, you've got to just bite the bullet and say, yeah, let's, um, 
Let's take these cast chests because, yeah, I can't be afford I can't afford to be getting hit anyways. So why not get myself in a mindset where, yeah, let's not get hit ever. These these are surprisingly effective. Like I really thought this was going to be kind of a a dumpster fire of a of a run because I took the sides, but. They're actually playing out pretty darn well. I'm trying to think of what they'd pair really well with. Like, what could enhance these? There's definitely got to be a few things out there that would really lend themselves to being quite successful with these bad boys. I don't know if there's anything that increases your fire rate. Because that would be quite nice. Uh, we've actually got everything we want here. I'll just take the money and bounce. Bit of a shame, I know. Right, we actually got a new uh, thingy here. The knife dance. Ooh. Intriguing. I would like to try this, I think. Um, okay, let's give it a go. Corruption's kind of... Uh, corrupted power, at least, is kind of interesting, but I think this is probably better. Uh, leave those for now. Maybe we want to reforge this. Upgrade it. Generous a shield when using. Yeah, why not? Uh, okay, we need things that are going to kind of lend itself to what we got going on here. Uh, vengeance isn't really it. Tranquility doesn't really do it for us. Necromancy is not really it. Disengagement, potentially? I'm gonna go with Instinct of the Master Arms, actually, because I think being able to use my skills a little more often could end up being quite beneficial, and I have a very controllable way to crit with these things. While the crits aren't very fast, maybe that was a mistake. Maybe that was a mistake. Maybe I should've just gone with Disengagement. I, I, I basically, I'm trying to not take Disengagement early, I know that it doesn't matter when you take it, but I feel like if I take it, I'll rely on it. And as I was saying earlier, I need to get myself used to not being hit. Um, so I, I really don't want to put get. Ooh, that's kind of interesting. I really don't want to get myself into a position where I rely on disengagement to disengage. Um, I get that it's there to be strong and there to help, but I don't want to be become over reliant on. Oh god, that was not a good hit. Okay, so we don't get that much invincibility from using that thing, but it is decent. Oh god. Might prove to be a mistake. Oh god, damn, the yeah. The slowness of this is leaving a bit to be desired, I gotta admit. I like that. I gotta say I like that. Oh god, he hit me hard. Let's heal up. Get rid of that real quick. It's a little scary getting behind the enemy, but I love that little that little move that we do. We throw the enemy up in the air. That's very satisfying. One thing I definitely do forget to do and I'm sure it's going to be our demise many a time in the series, is I quite often just completely forget to heal. Uh, we did have a scroll down here somewhere. Oh, there it is. Um, I quite often just completely forget to heal. Like, I, I'll ju it'll just bypass my brain entirely. Oh, God. Oh, God. No! This shield boy is wrecking me. But again, again, I really shouldn't be healing too early. I think that's another thing I do. I heal a bit too haphazardly. The scythes are going decently here, but I feel like they're not great. Oh my god. Let's heal up again. Yeah, I feel like they're not doing great in this level specifically. I'm not sure what it is about this level, but... Okay. Got 
you? It's because I'm not really doing the one-two method of using one, then using the other. The kind of idea is you meant to use one, then the other, then one, then the other, so you get constant crits. It's just very hard to maintain that action. A lot harder than I was expecting it to be, to be honest. I thought that was going to be kind of a crux to our uh, build, but it's proving to be quite difficult. I also assumed you'd be able to hit enemies through walls. Like, I know that it's not, like, normal to be able to hit enemies through walls in a game like this, but the visual is so, like, it so much indicates that you can, considering the whole ass sword goes through the wall. Right. If we could beat Concierge on this run, I'd be pretty happy, though. I, I, I kind of want to stick with this build. You see, I feel like I did the swap, for, the swap tactic then, where I swapped weapons. I did the square, then triangle to swap sides, and it didn't crit. Maybe I just did it a little too early or something? I don't know. So, right, that's the, that's the white scythe. Then go the orange scythe. I don't know what's... I don't know where, where I'm not getting these crits from here. Okay, these times I got crits. Get that out there. Did not land where I wanted it to at all. Ow. Ow. Nope. Ow. Oh, he's healed. Oh, my God. Again, I'm just forgetting to heal. Ah, oh, god damn it. That was not a great one, I'll admit. But we saw some really cool guns and I guns. Really cool items and weapons. And we got to use the scythes then. We wanted to use those for a while. I know this is definitely a shorter episode than, than the regular one. And you guys are probably going to know just by the video length that I died. But either way, I hope you guys enjoyed this one nonetheless. And I'll see you guys in the next one.